Hello everybody, my name is Rick Owens and this is Hot Limode and today on Hot Limode we're getting into our spooky ooky Halloween celebrity roast and review. Now obviously I'm not actually Rick Owens, although I am wearing a lot of Rick. I got this wig and I'm wearing my kiss boots. And yes, at certain points I might veer onto looking like Severus Snape who has a Rick Owens fetish, but I did my best. Rick's hair is hard to, to really get down, you know what I mean? So I apologize Rick in advance. Appreciate you. But as per usual, we are going to be looking at some celebrity Halloween costumes. I love it. It's super fun. It always makes me laugh. We get to enjoy people's outfits for once in a while. So strap in. All right, without further ado, let's turn to page 394 and begin. First up, we're looking at Alex Earl dressed up as the Cheshire Cat. Honestly, I think it's fun. I don't think it's like a radical in terms of costuming, but at the same time, I do think that the painted element is much more intriguing than wearing like a big fur suit. I did look through her Instagram and I did see that like all of those rings, the pink and the purple are all painted. And I assume that it's the same with the face makeup. And I'm sure that there's some sort of prophetic because I assume that Alex Earl's nose is not that rectangular. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. I think it's Halloween-y and kind of scary, kind of creepy, but dedicated to the body contorting as the way that the treasure cat does. Now this is a Halloween costume. Amelia de Moldenberg as Roz from Monsters, Inc. is fantastic. And I think the great thing about a Halloween costume, like, although Roz to me can be hot and sexy, sure. Costume version of a character. It's just really laying into the original concept for this persona, which is saying, what? Where's your paperwork with Alski? I love every second of it. Like you can see her holding that mug. You're scared because you forgot your paperwork. You did not fill out your timesheet and you know you're wrong. I love it. it. Like, it's just, I don't know. For me as a kid that grew up in the early 2000s, it's great costuming. It works really, really well. The sweater I'm obsessed with. I need to know if it's Margiela because I have a sweater that looks just like that. And Roz would wear Margiela low key. I believe that. I mean, even the skirt, like I was trying to figure out because they don't, they don't just sell a Roz costume like this. I'm sure that somebody had to make the skirt and you can look at the back, the little skin patterns is really intriguing too. Like it's just really well thought out and like really put to the test and really making your own costume. And I really, I love it. I think it's fantastic. Next up we have Anne Hathaway. She was Boo York City. Okay, sure, whatever floats your boat. I get it. Like I know people love to do like the, the wordplay situation and Boo. York, New York. I get it. She's a Statue of Liberty, but she's also like a ghoul. Maybe like the face paint. Fine. Cute. I don't know. I don't think that was like her full real Halloween costume. I think that she dressed up differently to go trick-or-treating with her child, which is fun. And also I'm not going to be like posting the ones where people are going trick-or-treating with their kids when they're trying to have a moment because like I think that's weird. So yeah, this fine and next up we have Bella Hadid who is playing Poison Ivy and it's the Uma Thurman version of Poison Ivy. She has little hair cones and she's wearing ivy and things and she has you know very inflamed eyebrows. I assume those are because the burning sensations of Poison Ivy when it touches your skin. I don't know I've never gotten Poison Ivy. Knocking on wood. Don't want to. I think she looks great. She looks hot. She looks beautiful. She's Bella. I love Bella. I'm sorry like if there's one bias that I have in the world, it's for Bella Hadid. So, she looks fantastic. Next up we have Chloe Bailey, who is Jessica Rabbit. Now listen, what I'm gonna say is, I do think that the Halloween situation has become a little bit of a trade in the world of Hollywood. And I do think that we've started to see people sort of pick certain characters that are more or less seen every year now. And I think Jessica Rabbit has become one. I will say I think Chloe Bailey looks fantastic as Jessica. I think the waist element has really been done very, very well. It's really snatched. I love the dress on her in general, the purple gloves. I mean, just like even the hair and the makeup, like she just, she looks fantastic. Like she looks great. As much as I'm like, okay, I've seen Just Grab It. Honestly, what are we doing this now? Like five, six years? I've seen it a lot. This is a good one. She looks fantastic. I'm into it but people, let's chill out on the Just Grab It going forward, please. Next up we have Cole Sprouse and Barbara Palvin Sprouse as the Phantom of the Opera and Christine. Honestly, like, 
I think it's good. I don't think that the background obviously supports as much, but again, I think that's like a little bit of a high expectation from people. They're just dressing up. I think Cole definitely captures the Phantom of the Opera element. He has the cape, he has a mask, it's the suiting, it's all that. But I do think that Barbara really does have a good Christine, Emmy Rossum Christine, you know what I mean? Like curly sort of hair and the off the shoulder dress. Like it just feels very young, Emmy Rossum staring into a mirror. I think it's great, I think it's fantastic. Although I will always say, I think the ultimate Halloween costume Phantom of the Opera themed is the masquerade ball Phantom of the Opera with like the Broadway mask that like is a big skull and it like opens its mouth and it like it moves and it's really scary to me and I've always loved that and I would love to be that for Halloween one time in my life so yeah but no I think they did a good job I think this definitely is like a uh, Phantom of the Opera is easy I think to get you put on the mask and it's like <laughs> but I do think it's a little bit harder to do Christine and like do it well. And I think that back picture of Barbara, it, it's, I'm sold, it's sold. Next up is Doja Cat and I'm obsessed. Now Doja Cat is an unnamed character, except the name is technically like Sunflower from Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. And if you never played the Nintendo 64, I'm so sorry for you, but Essentially, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day was an R-rated video game that was incredibly inappropriate and children should not have played it, but they did. Doja Cat is a, excuse my French, big-titted sunflower who has to get pollinated by that big fuzzy bee with a crown that's next to her. And it's amazing. It's a great costume. The whole thing is like eventually the sunflower's boobs become a launching pad for this very deranged squirrel. And so, long story short, she looks amazing. She looks fantastic. I love the leaf prosthesis hands. I love the boobs. I love the fact that Doja is the face, like the sunflower ray around. It's it's good. It's really good. I love it. She's fantastic. She I know she knows how to do Halloween well. Next up, we have Elsa Hosk, who is Diana, Princess of Wales, but in the revenge dress. I think she looks great. I think that she's captured the vibe very well. I mean, the dress... I wouldn't say it's like a perfect dress, but I mean like it's near perfect. The off the shoulder, the little sort of black asymmetrical swag, the jewelry, I mean like the necklace, and it's good stuff right there. It makes me miss her a lot. I will say I don't think the face is selling me. That's the one thing that's throwing me off there. Other than that, fantastic. I immediately knew what I was looking at, and that's what you want from Halloween costume, because you guys immediately knew what I was as soon as I opened my mouth. 100%. I'm a big sloppy slut. Next up, we have Halle Bailey, and she is the Bond girl played by Halle Berry. And there's a lot of Halle Berry costuming going on here, which makes sense because I mean, Halle Berry, iconic. The side by side is good for those that haven't seen it. I like it. Listen, I don't know all that much because I'm going to be honest, I've never seen a James Bond movie. So she looks great. She's definitely captured the energy, even like the little hair swoopies that come down from the top is just like very Halle Berry to me. Curtain bang. I don't know. I think she looks fantastic. Like, I'm really happy for her. I know that she had a kid recently, so like, she looks fantastic and good for her. And she looks happy and healthy, and that's, that's what we want. And I mean, everybody looks happy and healthy after they have a kid, so I'm not at all body shaming whatsoever. I'm just saying. She's captured the energy without a doubt. Okay, next up we have the battle of the ETs, but it's not like actually battle, it's just Halloween. First up, I want to talk about Janelle Monet because Janelle Monet is the first one that I saw. So I am still incredibly confused about how Janelle Monet fit her body into this costume because it's crazy looking. Like it's so short and small and I don't know if it moves. I assume it doesn't move. I assume it's literally just a statue that they carved the head out of and Janelle Monet just sort of like sits in it. But then I was like, maybe it just is like a facade from the front and there's not really a back. But like then when his body is turned in this other picture, I'm like, it has to be not a facade. Like it, it, she has to have gotten into it, I assume. Maybe not, but in my head, there's no way that she didn't get into it. But it's really kooky and wild and it must move. My head was like, it doesn't move, but it must move because the arms are different from when she's standing like this versus when she's holding this pot. And I'm like, I assume she's holding the pot of flowers with her hands and it's not just like stuck to her body or something. So I don't know. It's really crazy. It's a crazy costume and I'm terrified of it and I love it. But 
Then Heidi Klum showed up with her husband, and she was E.T. too with her husband. I like both of them. I think they're both really funny. I think that Heidi's is obviously very different. What I think is great about Heidi's and makes it so different is the fact that her face is visible in it, and it's so scary, and she does this every single time, like when she was the worm and her face was there. It's like, that's very similar. But I was watching a video of her like getting ready for it, and like they were putting these sort of like strips across her face to look like the neck skin, the wrinkly neck skin. But I love that it's like the ET dressed up with like the bowler hat and the wig. I think that's when Drew Barrymore dresses ET up. I've never seen ET. That's really bad of me. I know. I love it. I think it's really fun. I think they're quirky and weird. And again, I like the fact that the face is visible. It's not just the head. I like, I love the head part. It's so strange to me on Janelle, but here it's so strange, but it's almost like this big hat. The head is a big hat. It's cool. I don't know. It makes me laugh. I love it. I like Halloween. I like seeing everybody dress up. Next up we have Ice Spice as Lilu from The Fifth Element. I think it's good. I think it's a, again, another Halloween costume that I've kind of seen a couple times before, but you know what I mean? Listen, you can't be mad about it. I do think that it's very easily recognizable. You see that orange bang and bob and you're like, oh, got it, Fifth Element, easy. I think it works. I think it's cool. I think it makes sense. I'm into it. Next up we have Carrie Washington and she is obviously the iconic Tashi Duncan played by Zendaya in Challengers. She's with these other two men. I know one of them is famous. I assume both of them are probably famous and they are playing the other two. I forgot the names of their characters. I apologize. I did see the movie. Great movie. I love the I Told You shirt. Jonathan Anderson, designer of Loewe and J.W. Anderson. He came up with it. It's fantastic. I love to see it. I think it's a good Tashi Duncan. I personally also do love a Tashi Duncan where she's sitting in the stands just watching with the sunglasses like great shot one of the greatest shots I thought of that movie is when her head is not moving everybody else's heads are moving but anyway cute costume you know for those that saw the movie and watched the press tour you know what it is next up we have Kim Kardashian and she's an albino alligator and honestly I kind of love it it's fantastic I feel like it's weird and it's a little out of the box I keep thinking interior crocodile alligator but i really want to say interior albino alligator it's great i mean the albino alligator definitely like an interesting phenomenon in nature but also i think in terms of you know fashion referencing culture etc etc you know albino alligator boots and bags and things like that are seen as very rare because they probably are. I also don't know how, you know, legal they are nowadays. Maybe they are probably still, but who knows. I just think it's a really interesting costume. I love the big tail. I assume that the tail does not actually exist and that's probably like a Photoshop thing. If it did exist, I would be much happier. But as far as like, et cetera, you know, it's good. I wish there was a little bit more of a snout. I also love the crocodile and alligator favorite animals so I'm a little bit heavy on would love a big snap trap but I understand what we're trying to do I think it looks a little space alien brain bulging out of the skull or the lack of skull so I think I would say that's my one singular critique but I do love the bodysuit like it looks fantastic I love the way that you have all of the scales and I don't know what the names of the underbelly soft scales are that aren't really scales, but they're really cool and interesting and I like the way that they move along the body. I think it's fun. I think it's chic. I like the way that it sits on the abdomen. Very good. Next up we have Kylie Jenner as Barbarella playing the iconic Jane Fonda character from the 1960s. I think it looks pretty good. I think that she's done a good job. I like the chain mail, very Paco Rabanne referencing, doing it. I knew it for the most part as soon as I saw it and I think Barbarella again I would say is another one where it's kind of like okay we've seen this costume like 40 million times and I mean listen if everybody's watched Barbarella that is Barbarella fine but if you haven't I get it but you don't need to do the costume just my thoughts next up we have Lizzo and she is a face card I love it. I think it's fantastic. I think that this is smart. It's fun. It plays into like what is currently in the lexicon of the way that we talk. I mean, like face card can't get declined or well, I mean, some people's face card can get declined. 
I do think that it's a smart way of going about it. I like the Chanel bags. I think it adds this idea of the card and the, you know, paying and all those kinds of things. Like, it's just a good costume. It feels original. It feels interesting. It feels fun. It feels like something I haven't seen before. So very into that. Next up, we have Megan the Stallion, and she is Starfire from Teen Titans. Yeah, it's a comic cartoon. I love the hair. I think it's really big and wild and crazy and I don't know how she got it like that. I love the costume. I know that Megan the Stallion loves like cartoons and anime and things like that. So again, I think it's cool when people get into things that they really love and enjoy and are fond of. You know, it's like when certain people dress up as like fashion designers, you know, so it just feels right. It just feels so good, so interesting and original and like they really care, you know, you feel. So this, I would say, like, I really resonate with Megan in this regard. Next up, we have Paris Hilton, who is essentially Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction. It's the iconic poster of Uma Thurman as Mia Wallace in Pulp Fiction. I think it's great. I think I knew immediately what it was. I think I will say again, like, the big, bold Paris Hilton thing and the wig and the cigarette and the po- Like, it all plays into it and you kind of know immediately what it is if you've seen Pulp Fiction or even if you haven't seen Pulp Fiction, you've probably seen the poster of Pulp Fiction and it helps. It's great. I really think that she did a great job. I, again, knew immediately what it was. Job done. Next up we have Quen Blackwell who is doing Naomi. She did it a few times, but we're going to talk about two of them. One is Naomi posed in this beautiful Alaya little bodysuit and matching sort of arm sleeves and shoes. Like, it's great. I love the beret. Iconic Alaya reference, like, fantastic. And then there's also the picture of Quinn as Naomi when she's holding the gun in the Versace Spring 1998 collection. And I also love it. It's so, I think this is like, it's just one of the great fashion moments where you're like, what the f is happening? But it's hilarious. And it's a picture that you still can see as very memeable today. Beautiful Oraton. I love the pose. I think Quinn looks fantastic. She really captured Naomi's essence. It's exactly what you want from a Halloween costume. You know what I mean? Like this is more of a fashion Halloween costume. And I really wanted to do just like a fashion Halloween costume video dedicated, but unfortunately I couldn't find enough of them. I love them. So if I can include them here, I will. Next up, we have Sabrina Carpenter as a Playboy bunny. Listen, it's not the most original, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I do think that as far as the actual look goes, it's beautiful. I love the crystal bodysuit. I like the crystal ears. I like the crystal bow tie. It's very classic Playboy bunny. You know, you have the cuffs, you have the collar. And I also do think that it fits along with what Sabrina Carpenter has been doing recently in terms of like her tour and her music and her sort of aesthetic choices, the creative direction that she's been going for. I also think if she was on tour and doing it, like this lines up with the way that, you know, when she does like towel reveal thing, like this works, I get that, you know, like the girl's gotta eat, so I'm into it. Next up we have Selena Gomez and Benny Blanco as Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Hatter. I think they captured it. Listen, I think Benny is very easy to see, you know what I mean? Like if you've seen the Johnny Depp, Alice in Wonderland, Mad Hatter, that's immediately the vibe. I would say Selena's is a little harder. Maybe it's cause the lighting and the dress isn't as blue. I know that in the live action movie, it's not really as blue. But I do think this really errs on the side of gray, so it's a little harder to tell. But Benny definitely does help to sort of cement that. But Selena's also been, she's been working it out recently, so I'm not mad at her. Next up, we have Sophie Turner as Trinity from The Matrix. Got it. The sunglasses and the bodysuit is all I really need, you know what I mean? Like, any sort of latex and a small black sunglass that barely covers the eyes is like, easy matrix moments i know exactly what we're doing she looks great oh god she is she's so hot it's so crazy to me next up we have tyla and she is sharon stone from the fillin stones who was played by halle berry who is like the sexiest assistant of the main villain of the movie she just looks fantastic like she could wear this on the carpet and i'd be like yeah sold perfect Love it. Easy. She knows what she's doing. I think that she's captured the costume perfectly. Like, she looks amazing. She looks fantastic. She looks hot and sexy. Thank you. Next up, we have Victoria Justice as Coraline. And again, this is another easy one. If you've ever seen the movie, you know exactly what this is. I mean, the blue hair, the little yellow slicker, the boots. Like, it's fantastic. She looks great. Into it. And finally, we have Winnie Harlow as Diana Ross in those iconic pictures where Diana is in that sort of sheer fishnet bodysuit with all the crystals all over it. I think Winnie did a great job. I think she definitely captured the energy of it very, very well. 
think it looks fantastic. And that's the end of this video. Listen, I'm not going to do a worst because I don't think there was anybody that really was like worst, but I'm going to do a best. I think Amelia de Boldenberg as Roz is fantastic. I also love both Janelle Monet and Heidi Klum as E.T. Very fun. Who else? Oh, Quinn Blackwell as Naomi is also wonderful. And I'm also going to put Tyla as Sharon Stone in there too because she definitely captured it. Love. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video and TTY. No.